A violent home invasion in Illinois. One of the tenants is speaking out, describing what it was like fending off his neighbor who was threatening him with an axe. And our Stephanie Rothman has the exclusive one on one with the tenant and the homeowner. And she joins us live tonight outside the Fairview Heights Police Department with more. Stephanie. On Thursday, we first told you new details about this home evasion, but then the scars were too fresh for both of them to speak about this. Yet, now tonight, we have new information from the people that lived through it all. We showed you the video. The suspect, Michael Slusser, beating down his neighbor's front door with an axe. But what happened after he went inside? I kind of knew we were under attack. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew we were under attack. Lundy lives in the house with his girlfriend, daughter, and friend. Tuesday night, it was only him on the couch and his friend in his room at home. Both springing into action the moment they heard a loud noise coming from outside. Screaming like, at us nonstop the same thing. Where's my old lady? Where's my old lady? I know you had, and then like mumbling other inaudible things in between. And we started threatening him with the weapons we had and he left. Thankfully, his seven year old daughter and her mom were not home. My daughter would be traumatized. She's the sweetest little thing. Like all she cares about is puppies and kitties and rainbows. She's never seen violence like that ever. Like we keep that kind of stuff away from her. Just so for her to see that, I just don't even know what it could have done to her. Homeowner Brittany Yates lives next door on the other side of the house and saw the whole incident unfold. On the very same ring camera, Police used to identify him before making the arrest the next day. We were on the phone with 911 and we were coming over here to stop, um, try to stop what was ever occurring. But by the time we had gotten out here, we had seen him retreat toward his house. Her neighbor, who she almost hired to do yard work for her, now faces multiple charges, including aggravated stalking and criminal damage. The whole ordeal was, it was really frightening. I never imagined it would ever get this, you know, violent, but it has, and it's all been unprovoked. Well, many of the neighbors tell me off camera also, it's just been a frightening scene for them this week. And coming up at 10, we learn more about the suspect's criminal history as he remains in custody. Reporting in Fairview Heights, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.